Well, welcome back to week six of our plus nothing journey. Very seldom do people do six weeks straight of anything, but many of you have walked together with hundreds of other people in this plus nothing journey. Jesus is our everything. Now, the unique thing about this part of the story is the power of the gospel, the good news of Jesus. Because what looks like the end of Jesus' story is just the beginning. The grave cannot hold Jesus down. And this is a story we want to be true whether we believe it or not, right? We love stories, mythologies, comic books where the hero looks dead but comes to life. Now, because we believe that what we see in the resurrection of Jesus holds truth for all of us, that is not just a false myth. This makes the story so compelling because what the scriptures teach us, what this story teaches us is that Jesus is the prototype. That's right. That he's the first one off the assembly line of the new humanity. He is the first one to experience eternal life, eternal quality of substance and being that is available to all of us. Now, this is a great mystery, but there are some things to hold on to in this story. Jesus' followers did not expect him to come out of the grave. That's very important to remember. Even after everything he tried to tell them about himself, after he told them this is what will happen, the Son of Man will be given over to death, but he will not stay dead, they still brought spices to treat his body. We all bring our spices, don't we? We have our doubts. Several of them went back to their old fishing life as soon as they could. If you were gonna make up this story, you would probably change this part, wouldn't you? You would make it so that everyone was ready and they threw him a party on that first Easter morning because yes, we expected him to come back from the grave as he said he would. That's not how it went. Even some of his best friends weren't sure if their eyes and hearts were tricking them. And Jesus was okay with that. He showed them his wounds, his scars. He offered them forgiveness and restoration and mercy. Amazing grace. And more than that, in this time after the grave, he puts them on a mission. Now you go, you be on the offensive of trampling the gates of hell with my story of death, the ultimate agent of evil being trampled. This story of everything he said and everything he did, of everything he, he taught them about how life works and how love keeps us alive. This story belongs to all of us. And we have to keep learning it and relearning it and retelling it. The end of this story is the beginning of our story. The end of this story is the beginning of our story. The scriptures tell us that his mercies, his power are renewed every day. Every day is a resurrection, right? Here's some questions that we want you to ponder as we conclude our journey. One, what kind of responses did you notice from the people who see the resurrected Jesus? Which one would be most like you if you had been around back then? Number two, why do you think this story has survived all of these years? We know, for example, that those who were implicated in Watergate couldn't keep that secret if this were a hoax, how has it survived all of these years under the scrutiny of intellectual attack? Number three, what would it mean to you and the people you love if hope is stronger than death? What would that mean? We're glad that you could join us for this six week journey through the life of the person who changed the world from A to Z, you can find subject matter, events, entities that were impacted by the life of Jesus. But you may still have questions about this Jesus. It is very important that you ask those questions. 
You may have questions about the nature of faith. You may have questions about your next steps. Some of you have been introduced to Jesus afresh for the first time. We want you to reach out to us. We want you to, like the disciples, to ask your questions and say, Jesus, show us your scars. We have many staffers who would love to help you discover the answers to those questions. And you can go to hello at southbrook.org and ask your questions and we will respond. We hope you have, because of this journey, the richest of Christmases, the Christ Mass, where we celebrate the beginning of our days getting longer. Why? Because light has come into the world in the person of Jesus. And that light has shined in the darkness and can shine into the parts of your life that need His light. Merry Christmas.